that was against uh, Mount St. Joe's from Cincinnati. Really tough program. Uh, maybe the top three. They're in the top three in the Midwest. So uh, I was really happy. I mean, looking down the bench after the first set, all the guys were moping, <laughs> kind of sad. And, but they uh, responded well. I mean, we started passing better. You know, it's that they had a tough jump serves and. Um, once we start passing better, we can get the balls to our middles and things kind of fall into place. Yeah, I'd say uh, Landon was outstanding uh, against Mount St. Joe's. I've never seen him play that well, and it's you know very exciting uh, to watch him play. Um, and uh, Nate Ellis, you know, he's pretty much unstoppable if you get a good pass. And uh, KJ sets him in rhythm. Um, he's got that senior swing he can see the block and turn the ball or just go over the block so but it all starts with the pass and that's Derek and Mike and Landon laying it up there and yeah I you know I was debating starting you know the um, the guys that hadn't played in the first match because I didn't get a, a lot of chances to sub in the first match but uh, it's still a learning process I want our starting unit or whoever's out there you know that starts the match uh, to get in a better groove, so that's you know, it, and that's a practice too. So we practice them starting against uh, Wilson, also, and then I, you know, work to get everyone in, and so they get some swings. And I complimented the guys because the level never dropped. It didn't ma matter who I put in there. I mean, Nate Bossy came in and just powered a bunch of balls down, and Kyle, and you know, it's too many to mention. But I, I told them all that. Um, the level of play never drops when you come in, and I know it's difficult because you're cold, but they all, you know, just jumped in there and were finishers. And, and the last set, I think, was the, the win with the greatest margin with, you know, everyone playing. So.